Not only is Mexico one of our biggest trading partners and our neighbor to the south, but it is also a country that has a fantastic manufacturing base, a prowess at it. They are very good. And it's not just simple items like textiles or light manufacturing. No, it is complicated things as well. There are a whole lot of auto plants and uh, even EV plants. But what about making some of their own? We've got some big announcements on that front. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. Oh, 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 oh. So there's a bit of news out. Well, this part, we'll start with the part that isn't quite as fresh. This is from October, Mexico to make its own EVs. Olenia, which makes to move in Nahuatl, will be designed as an affordable EV for the Mexican market for families and young people with competitive prices to other brands. Well, this doesn't tell us much. This is again from October. President Scheinbaum gave further details about the plans to produce an EV. You see, Mexico already makes the parts. There are hundreds of parts makers in Mexico already working to build parts for EVs for other companies. Why don't we tap into that? Why don't we take some of our best and brightest from our universities and make it happen? during the press conference, uh, said that it would be produced in Sonora, one of several northern states with low electricity prices. And uh, yeah, so that's where that was. Well, looks like it's time. Mexico aims for locally made EVs to rival imports. This is still October 11th. They've got prototypes for domestically manufactured compact electric vehicles that could eventually rival those made in India. Well, that's not the best start, but I mean, at least we're being realistic. This sounds like a bad thing. It isn't. India makes cars that are affordable and acceptable to the domestic market. They don't export many, certainly not of those ones. Scheinbaum, a former energy researcher who made the small car part of her pledges in her inauguration address, said the goal is for all components to be made locally. Yeah. So it's not just a car we're going to make. It's a car we're going to make with local parts, with things that help the local economy. Didn't name specific companies, but that is where we are. Mexico's electric vehicle, Olenia, to debut at 2026 World Cup. That's a ways out. I'm less thrilled. If we look at this picture, we'll see a compact, and I mean a compact, a also compact, and a small uh, cargo vehicle, a little bit of a delivery vehicle there. The administration shared new details about its first domestically produced vehicle, Olenia, and announced its debut will be at the 2026 World Cup opening match in Mexico City. The clean mobility, and by the way, do you live in Mexico City? Because I love Mexico City. I've been there a few times. I will be going back again, and I'd love to visit you. Let me know in them comments below, of course. Uh, we'll be led, uh, so this will be led by the newly formed Science, Humanities, Technology, and Innovation Ministry as part of the administration's push towards sustainable transport and technological advancement. A budget of $1.2 million to kick it off. Mm. For automotive, that's very lean. But what are you trying to make? So the answer is something good. Something good that the market can afford. It won't be the safest car out there. And it won't be, but it won't be, it won't be expensive. And it will hopefully be not too dangerous. And it won't pollute the way other very cheap vehicles do. The expected price range is from $4,400 to $7,400. Significantly lower than the price point of other electric vehicles currently sold, including the ones from China. EVs sold in Mexico by JAC, Renault, and BYD are more like $17,000. Still a fantastic price. In addition to their reduced environmental impact, uh, improved safety. Yeah, improved safety because the structure of an EV is inherently safer than a dyno burner. It's just how it works. This is, uh, we want a compact and functional car that represents an alternative to motorcycles. There you go. There you have it. Is it safer than a motorcycle? Without question. A little bit more information. Mexico will produce the low-cost cars. There's two shots of it. It's cute. It's not hard to make something this small kind of cute. Uh, 
and fortunately they're doing just that. But I think we need to zoom out a little bit and see how the country is doing more generally. And of course, they've got the delivery vehicle. That's going to fill a lot of needs. The short range on these, fine. Something like 70, 80% of people in Mexico live in urban centers. Fine. This will work fine. Yeah. So, great. Uh, here's a report on automobile assembly in Mexico. There are... A lot of, here we go, 1,500% growth since 2020. Yeah, but from 1 to 1,500 is not that great. It's not quite that bad, but they started from a very low base. 7.8 billion total FDI related to EVs. Financial development, something maybe? Charging stations, 2,300. Sounds pretty good. Needs to go up. A lot of those are not what you and I might think of as a DC fast charger, 161,000 EVs to be produced in 2024. I don't know if they hit that number, but if they didn't, they got close. So this is all working. Um, you can see here's the actual numbers. This includes hybrids, unfortunately, but you can see 106,000 is what they got to in 2023. And just through July, they were well ahead of pace for a big, big growth. So, uh, and here's some places where they're made. Honda Prologue it is no longer planned. It is in production and at good volume. Blazer and Equinox, same plant. Uh, Hidalgo's got JAC manufacturing. Uh, Durango, not familiar with it, has manufacturing. Uh, oh, Durango's the state. I can't see what brand that is. Apologies. Uh, BMW, uh, Audi, and uh, Ford and Toyota. Some of these are hybrids, but some of them are not. We'll take it. Every bit helps. And I think there's some more numbers here. Yeah, Blazer, big numbers. Maki, -E, big numbers. They know how to make them. And I, when I say they, I don't mean they're going to steal Ford's proprietary technology or systems or processes. I mean people who have worked in the automotive field for decades in Mexico will have an opportunity to consider it and uh, join the team and work on it. So let's look at this automotive report for assembly. Uh, we've got some key things here, uh, some graphics to share. Huge growth over time, 1500% growth since 2020. We've got $7.8 billion in investments, 2300 charging stations, which may not sound like a lot, and it isn't. It really needs to increase because a lot of those are level twos, Certainly not the kind of DC fast chargers you'd need for such a large country, but it's getting better. 161,000 EVs produced in 2024, estimated based on first half. These are good numbers. 319,000 produced since 2020, up to just the first five months of last year. Looking at this, we can see how big the growth has been. 58,000 in 21, 79,000, 110,000, and then on pace to hit about 170,000 through 2024, in 2024. And zooming down, uh, looking out here, we've got uh, Honda Prologue, which at this time said planned. We know that's in production at the plant that also makes the Blazer and the Equinox. We've got the JAC plant in Hidalgo that makes a, a variety of factors. Durango's got its own factory there. BMW's in San Luis Potosi. Uh, Audi. Um, Toyota making a hybrid. And Mexico State making the Mustang Mach-E. Very cool stuff. These, This country has a lot of experience making cars. And now they have a bit of experience making electric cars, and they're not going to steal the talent and the, the systems and processes and technology from Ford and GM and others. No, they're going to just take their expertise with them. So these are good numbers. Mach-E, 94,000 uh, in 2023. That was great. And then, of course, there's a mention that the Gigafactory did not happen. Uh, and they can export them. So this is very exciting stuff. It's it's all happening. It's all happening, and it's uh, going to happen. And worth mentioning that in the article, they also mentioned that, let's see if I can find it, uh, that they are using, I'm not sure if it's in this article, but they are using the brains that they have from the universities they have, the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics graduates and doctorates, researchers, to build their own stuff. 
that's going to make it a little bit more possible. That's going to make it a little bit easier. Mexico, SUV, EV, coupe, sedan, cargo, passenger, who knows, man, what are they going to build? What would you like them to build? And do you think that something like this, uh, which has, you know, the, um, which has just this, uh, these three form factors, do you think that's a good starting place? I think it might help especially in cities where pollution is, I assure you, quite an issue, uh, especially with some of the older vehicles, especially with some of the motorcycles. It is not great. What did I miss? What did I misunderstand? Leave it in the comments below. Stay tuned and juicy. And if you hung out this long, I should remind you that I will be uh, doing a little thing called the uh, Chattanooga Charge, March 29th and 30th. Come on out. We're going to have a lot of fun. All right, gang. See you in a bit.